In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you the advantage of using a multiple text title and an expanding color board to emphasize something we want the viewer of this short clip on an advertisement for a lodge to notice. We've used this clip in another video called Using a Mask to Progressively Change Letter Colors. And if I begin to play the clip, you notice that the letters will change from one color to another, from left to right, repeatedly. And we have that tutorial to show you how to do that nifty feature. What we'd like to do now is we'd like to add more to this by uh, explaining the phone number and using a little more motion uh, to help people remember that this is something important. So the first thing I want to do is add a title. So I'll click on my title uh, room or press the F7 key on the left side. I'm going to just start with the generic my default and I'll drag it and drop it down here into a higher numbered track. It starts out with my title. Well I can either double click on it or press the F2 key to get into the edit mode and that moves me into the title designer. First thing I want to do is I want to change the font. I'm going to take this with it highlighted and start, start typing the word impact. That's the font we're going to use. And then we're going to change the, uh, the characters here from my title to four reservations. And then what we're going to do is uh, let's do the font coloring before we shrink it down. Uh, what I want to do with the font, I want to make the color orange. We'll click this one here. We'll, we'll give it a border. The border, I don't want blue. Let's take something simple like white. And I'll click on OK. And looks like 3 looks pretty good for the size of the border. Then we're going to go ahead and shrink this. and drop it down just a little bit. We can change it later. So that's my four reservations. Now instead of adding a different title, I'm going to simply magnify this one by adding another line of text. So to do that, we sometimes forget we don't have to separate all the title elements. We can use them in one. I'll click on the plus T in the upper left corner and that will give me a new title. I'll just type this call and we'll take it and we'll drag it down here. And it's a little too big, but I, I want that to be the focus here. So we'll drop it down like that. Right square it above the number. I'll take my four reservations. We'll move it over just a little. I know it's outside of my, um, my normal zone here, but uh, we'll leave that go for now. And now I have four reservations call. Now I want to click on the four reservations uh, uh, title line and then I'm going to add an effect. I'll click on effect and let's do a something like pretty simple like um, let's see uh, slide right. I have from my mouse over the left part it tells me what my transition is. The other ones have no effect. Okay and that's good enough. And for now, I'll click on OK, and we'll just see what the difference is. So if I click here, four reservations, and then call. Well, I don't want the call to show before the four reservations is where I want it to end. So let's go back, and we'll double click. Easy way to fix this. We'll just take the call here and we'll move it so it doesn't start until the transition is over. And then it will start with call. Since this transition is empty, I'll immediately see that pop in. So let's click on OK and let's try this again. We we'll go to the beginning, click on movie, and we'll go ahead and play it for reservations and then call. And That works out pretty good and we have our moving colors over the numbers. So there's a lot of emphasis there. But let's assume I want to add something else. By the way, what we'll need to do is take this and, and make this the full length of our video. So we'll stretch out that the title. One more. Okay, that looks good. Now let's do one more thing. We'll double click on it again or press the F2 key. And I'd also want to add the name 
of the location. It's called Harmony Lodge. Instead of doing a completely separate title, I can add it on this one. And we'll just say, we'll call this Harmony Lodge. And so before we shrink it, let's change the colors in it. I'm going to hold down the, uh, put the cursor anywhere inside and hit the A key to select all the characters. We'll change it from uniform color. Let's go to a two color gradient. And let's start the gradient with something in the brown area, maybe uh, something that's kind of a light, pretty light brown, maybe something like this color. That looks good. Then we'll take the second one. And since this is a woodish looking scene here, we'll look for something else in the brown area, maybe a darker color here. Click on this one and then we'll click away. And that doesn't look too bad. So we have our, our, our text here. We're going to go ahead and shrink it down a little bit. Enlarge it just a little bit more and put it within our safe zone here. And now we have our Harmony Lodge. Let me do one more thing to spice this up. Let's assume I want the number, the phone number, underlined. A very simple way to do that is I'm going to bring in, uh, I don't do that in this screen, we'll click on OK. I'm going to bring in a color board. So I'll click back onto my media room, and under media content, we'll click the down arrow and click a color board. And I'm going to pick something in the uh, orange-yellow frame, and we'll put it on a track higher numbered, and put it down here. Now we'll double click or press the F2 key. And what I want to do here, I want to turn off maintain aspect ratio. So we'll take it down here and we'll move the width. We want it to highlight the number. So I'm going to click the magnifying glass here so I can see a little better what I'm doing. And uh, then we'll have to drag our slider a little bit. So we'll move it over, that's about right. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to move it up and make it thin. And so there's my underline. Now, why would I do it that way? Well, let me show you a couple cool things we can do. We're going to take this and we're going to make it start with nothing and expand. So let's say about two seconds in, uh, I want it to, to be this width. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my keyframing. Uh, I'm going to click on position and scale both. And in two seconds in, that will be the position, that will be the scale. Now I go back to the beginning. And I'm going to add a scale keyframe. The easy way to do that in this case is to take the width, which is 0.299 now, drag it back as far as it will go to 0.001. And now you see it looks like it disappeared. But if I go ahead and play it, it will expand. And we could change the timing if we want to, but let's go ahead for now and see what we've got. We'll click on OK and uh, we'll expand our screen. We'll click on movie mode and let's see what happens. We also will need to expand the color board so it goes all the way to the end. And now we have two things happening at once, four reservations come in, and then my line underneath. And if I want to change the color without changing anything else, I simply right-click on the color board, click on Change Color. I can do From Color Selector if I want to, or I can right-click and do Change Color and say From Preview. Now I can say, let's make it the same color as this one. And I'll click on OK. And now I've changed the color. So when I click to do the movie again, it should reset it. And there we go, it matches. So there is my color. The one thing that stands out in this message is the phone number.